Hello friends! Welcome to my channel. This is Cheryl with Inked Pulp and we are back today with another Marguerite Miller challenge. Gosh, we're already on week 18. I just hate how fast the years go. I wish they'd slow down just a little. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you and I hope you enjoy what you see and I hope you'll decide to subscribe. And be sure you hit that bell so you get all the notifications when I post new videos. And if you're a returning subscriber or viewer, you know I love you and appreciate your support. And um, thank you for being here. All right, let's see what the prompts are this week. So we are something that people collect, a geometric shape with at least five sides, something featuring a clock or time-related element, text in a foreign language, something with a spine, and the bonus is a flower. And I see that I have already, I don't know how I did this, because I, <laughs> I haven't been in any ink today, but I've already managed to get ink all over my hands, so I don't know what that's all about. Uh, let's see, we're here, and I also have ink all over this page. Um, the first thing I'm going to put down is my background, and that's going to be the flower image. So, let's, not that one, there it is, let's get this out. and put it down. So how is everybody today? We've got such nice spring weather here. We don't have any rain coming until next Tuesday, although we kind of need the rain because my husband overseeded the lawn, so we need to get the grass going, and um, we're getting ready to put our blueberry plants in the ground, and we'll need some rain for those guys, but just real moderate temperatures, you know, low 70s and high 60s, just perfect, perfect weather. And I haven't been walking as much as I should, and so I really need to get out and start walking more. All right, I'm going to put that there. I'm just going to put this down over the top of it. Oh, isn't that pretty? And then we'll cut off the extra. I even got some ink on this. I got ink everywhere, you guys, and I don't know where it came from. But that's all right. Inky hands are artistic hands, right? Alright, let's close this up and let's cut down this background. I'm really lately getting into the whole magazine thing. I um, spent some time looking through magazines this morning for images to harvest, and I think I'm going through a magazine phase. And I've been preparing a glue book, so I'll have some videos doing some work in a glue book. Um, I'm getting my glue book ready. Oh, got just a little corner coming up here, so let's put a little our glitter glue down there to hold that down and then I like to cut from this side and it's always so hard up against the spine of the the book but I prefer cutting this way where I can see the edge There we go. I just cut better going this direction. And 
There we go. So there is... Now, the first thing that I'm going to put down, and I need to ink it up, is my... Um, this is my text. My, um, this is all French. So I think this... Little dauber had the uh, scorched timber on it, but I'm putting some vintage photo on with that. And then I'm going to I'm gonna darken it up a little in the middle because it's a little bit too bright for what I want. Okay, so there's that. Now let's see here. Let me find my brown brush. I think this one is it. There we go. And I just want it to be darkened up a bit. So it matches some of the other colors in my... There we go. All right. So now I'm going to put this down here on the corner. Boy, I've started, I finally opened up my art glitter glue that I've had for over a year. I was trying to use up some of my other glues, but this one is just so nice. And the tip on it is great. It doesn't put out too much glue, so it's not oozing all over the place. And I just love it. So I think I'm giving up on some of those other glues. I mean, I still have them, so... There we go. So we'll put that down there. And then I have this little guy. And this is the prompt for... A geometric shape with at least five sides. So this is a cube, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's six sides on a cube, isn't there? But there's more than five. They aren't all showing, but um, they are there. So let's go around and ink this up just a little bit. What did I do with my... I tell you guys, I don't know how I can manage to misplace stuff when it's, you know, right in front of me. I've got my scorched timber and black soot, and I just had... Maybe I put it back. Maybe this was it. I don't remember. I am so bad about losing. And I know everybody struggles with it, but it's so frustrating. don't really need those legs to be inked up, but I do want the sides. Alright, right there. I'm putting it right there. this down. Boy, I was in the store. I took a I took a run to Hobby Lobby and Michaels. I don't do that very often at all. And I did go. Oh, that's got stuff all over the back of it. I don't know where all that ink came from. Um I went on a little shopping trip. And the stores are already putting out fall stuff. Like I'm seeing pumpkins and and 4th of July stuff. It's April, people. 
It's April. All right, now I've got this little girl, and I thought she went well here because she's yellow, like the flowers behind her. And I'm not going to ink her up a lot, maybe just a little, just to make her pop out some. But I'm not going to do a lot of inking on her. Just a very little around the edge. So I've got her, and this is my prompt of something with a spine, because she certainly has a spine. And then something that people collect. People certainly collect jewelry. So I cut out this necklace from a magazine, and then I cut some slits, if I can get my... There we go. And then around there. And then I've got her... I've got her little necklace on. No, well, it's not a little little necklace on her, is it? It's it's out of proportion, but I love it. Okay, so I am going to put a little glue down back here so we can get the this chain to stick and then I'll cut it off. Doesn't she look pretty with her necklace on? And let's cut these off. There we go. We've got our little girl with her sparkly necklace. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I don't want to put her down just yet. Because I've got something with, oh, and don't let me forget, you guys, I'm not going to glue this all the way down because I'm going to leave a tuck spot for my prompts. You guys know I always forget that. This is going to go, kind of don't see all the flower, but we do see some of it. Yeah, I want to put that down, and I'm going to glue down from like 10 to 2, and then leave the middle open so I can put my prompts in it. So let's go from 2 around to about 10, and we'll leave the middle open. Let's see if we put her there. And I don't know that these prompts necessarily tell a story. I want to get back to doing one that does tell a story, because I haven't done one like that in a long time. All right, so let's put this down. I got this girl, I think, out of a kid's book, and I, I pulled her out to use in something else, and then I ended up not using her. So, we'll put her down here. And let's put down her little pendant so it doesn't move around. seems like it's missing something, though. I don't know what it's missing, but... I mean, I've got all the prompts, but it just feels like it needs something more. Let's go around the edges. And then let me think about it for a second. I 
don't know what it's missing. I'm going to think about it. And if I come up with something else to put on this, I will. And then I'll show you guys. Maybe we need like a little word right in here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what I have. Or maybe like right up here. I don't know. Let's see. Let me put these away so I don't spill them. Um. Yeah, I don't like that. Hmm. Let me pause you guys for a minute and I'll look for something, then I'll come back. All right. I am back and I have found some things. So I have the, I found this little girly girl word. I don't know if I'm going to use that yet, but look at this flower and flower was one of our prompts. So I've got this flower for right in the middle of that clock, which I love. Um, gosh, I've had these flowers forever. All right, and then I've got this little cluster of flowers. And I was going to put it like right here. I think I like that there. What I'm struggling with is this idea of having threes. Because we've got a flower there now, a flower here, and I feel like we need something down here. But I'll wrestle with that after I get this done and decide if I need to add another one. So I'm really liking this layout. I think it's a lot of fun. There we go. Little cluster of three. Now... This is like completely a different color. I could put it up there, or I could put it up there. I sure wish you guys could talk to me and tell me. Like, is that even... You know what? I'm not going to put her on just... I'm not going to put that on just yet. I'm going to ask you guys in the comments to tell me, do you think I should put Girly Girl on there? She's a whole different color. Oh, my husband's just coming in, so pardon the noise. Um, should I put Girly Girl up there? I like how that flower kind of captures her. Looks like almost a hat that she's got on back there. All right, should I put Girly Girl on there or not? Guys, tell me in the comments. But I think that's going to take care of our prompts. Something that people collect, well, they definitely collect jewelry. A geometric shape with at least five sides. We've got this cube down here. And that is also pottery, so people collect that too. Something featuring a clock or a time-related element. We have this clock here behind her. Text in a foreign language. We have French. Something with the spine, we have the girl, and bonus is a flower. We've got the one in the background, and then we've got some here on the foreground. So that came out really pretty. <coughs> Honey, I'm recording. Um, that came out really pretty. Sorry about that, you guys. You didn't realize I was recording. Um, so just tell me in the comments, should we put, I don't think it goes here because there's too much clustered and going on right here. I think if it was going to go on, it would go up here. So tell me in the comments if you think we should add Girly Girl. And please give me a thumbs up if you haven't um, already and let me know that you like this video. And I will see you in the next Marguerite Miller Challenge. Thanks for coming everybody. Bye.